Hello, everyone, and welcome to Absolute's product briefing. Standardize your compliance reporting and control your remote devices. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us, and I hope you can gain some valuable and practical tactics from this webinar. My name is Kenny Pack, and I'm the lead onboarding specialist here at Absolute under customer experience with previous experience as a systems engineer here at Absolute. My passion is to work with customers and engage with them on how technology can best suit their needs and business cases. I'd like to introduce my co-speaker today, Bryce Ashton, Senior Director of UX and Product Management here at Absolute. Bryce, to you. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, my name is Bryce Ashdown, and I'm responsible for all the user experience of our products here at Absolute. I really enjoy opportunities like this where we can talk to customers and better understand your workflows, how you use our products. I'm excited today to share some of our new features with you and hopefully get back some uh, really good feedback in the Q&A. Thanks, Bryce. The objective of today's webinar is to one, understand the benefits of the custom scheduled reporting within the application and also the Absolute Control mobile app that is newly introduced. Two, work through and create custom scheduled reporting to save time and increase awareness within your organization. And three, leverage the Absolute Control mobile app to validate critical security controls and freeze missing devices. So the benefits of custom scheduled reports and Absolute mobile app Let's start off with a scenario today. Let's imagine an IT director is out having dinner and his CISO advises that his device has gone missing. What the IT director can do potentially is use the mobile app from Absolute to search for the particular device and verify and confirm its current encryption or anti-malware status. And as necessary, freeze the device using the mobile app without requirements of getting back to uh, his or her computer. After the fact, the IT director wants to be more proactive looking at the security posture of the endpoint device. So potentially you want to create custom reports for tracking, such as unencrypted devices and anti-malware status. He can also, after creation of these reports, create a scheduled report so that it gets sent to himself and the CISO and the greater team to better have visibility to the compliance of the entire fleet on a regular basis. With that as the setup scenario, let's go into the idea of creating these uh, preset reports. So the benefits of creating these reports is to save time creating and distributing reports uh, for automation and scheduling, accurately plan for regular device maintenance, regular check for compliance and locate deviations from the standard configuration, and create awareness of the key security metrics within your department. Here, I want to share my screen. Here, we start off with our dashboard view. For our existing users, this is the compliance uh, modal that you would see right away. For our newer users, this is the type of information that you can see in a single pane of glass view, seeing not only the operating system, make and model, but also the encryption and anti-malware. But for today, we want to take a look at how we can start off by creating a standardized report of your choice. We do collect over 500 individual pieces of information. And with our GUI system, we can slide and close out these for more viewing space. And what we actually want to do is manipulate this report live in front of yourself. So what we want to do is collect encryption, encryption information. So the key here is that we want to take a look at encryption information such as the status. And we can simply drag and drop all these items here. When was it last updated? And what product are we planning to use? Alternatively, we want to take a look at the anti-malware We want to take a look at the product name, the current definition it's under, and when was it last updated? Here we can simply remove other items, which we don't want to scan for this particular item. We want to make sure we know who the user is and what the make and model of the endpoint device is as well. Fantastic. 
Here we have a whole report showing, uh, in this case, a fleet of 512 devices with an active state, showing things like its encryption status, what is it using, in this case, BitLocker for some of them, for those Mac devices out there, FileVault. When was it last encrypted? So see the relevancy of the last updating. And as we scroll to the right, we can easily collect information about the anti-malware, the definition date, and when was it last updated? Here, we have a large set of data, but we may be more interested in particular fields, like the encryption status. We may just want to look at what is the status of this? And we want to say is not, and the choice is encrypted. So we're doing the reverse function here. I want to take a look at those ones that may be causing my fleet trouble. So in this case, we've taken note that about 41 devices show that the encryption is installed, but for some reason, it's been disabled. These are the highlights you do want to take closer look at. Why? Because this is where the security vulnerabilities begin. You may even kind of veer and see that some devices may not be calling in on a regular basis. Or when was the last update of some of the anti-malware information? Is January too late? Was an expectation sometime back in August or this month in September at the beginning? This is where the filtering callouts will focus and hone in your uh, decision-making ability. Alternatively, we may want to look at those that are more relevant for last connected. And we may say is within, let's say, the last seven days to be relevant. So we want to see which devices are calling in but are still having issues, say, on encryption. In this case, we've narrowed it down to 10 devices where we can have focus on these particular devices.